A senior government official in Japan is criticizing the operator of the damaged nuclear plant in Fukushima, saying it always seems to be one step behind the problems. Tokyo Electric Power Company managers have admitted for the first time that radioactive groundwater is seeping from the site into the ocean. TEPCO engineers analyzed the levels of contaminated groundwater inside monitoring wells between January and July. They concluded a drop in those levels indicated the water is seeping into the ocean. They believe the leak has been happening since April. Japanese senior vice industry minister visited the plant and called the situation deplorable. TEPCO's actions seem too slow and don't live up to our expectations. The manager of Fukushima Daiichi admits they could have done better. We should have learned more from the mistakes that we've made. So far, we're not seeing such a big impact on the ocean. We'll have to analyze more to understand the scale of the leakage. In tonight's Green Report, the operator of Japan's crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant admitted for the first time today that radioactive, contam radioactively contaminated groundwater from the plant has leaked out into the ocean. Earlier this month, TEPCO, the operator of the Daiichi nuclear power plant in Fukushima, said the groundwater samples taken at that crippled plant show very high levels of cesium-134, a cancer-causing radioactive element. Despite those readings, TEPCO had maintained that the toxic groundwater was likely contained to the immediate area and had not spread. In an effort to calm concerns, TEPCO also said today that while contaminated water had indeed flowed into the ocean, seawater data have showed no abnormal rise in the levels of radioactivity. The startling news comes just a day after the Japanese people went to the polls and handed Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's pro-nuclear party a large victory in Japan's upper house. But in light of this new information, let's hope that the Japanese government finally wakes up and realizes that their people and the world can't afford another nuclear disaster. It's time to end nuclear power worldwide now. Crews at the plant are trying to prevent further leaks. They're injecting chemicals into the soil to solidify it. They're working to create new two walls that would be about 14 meters deep and 90 meters long. The walls would be back to back and separate the facility from the ocean. TEPCO officials say the level of radiation in the area is as high as 200 microsieverts per hour. Five hours of exposure is equivalent to the annual allowable limit for humans. Crews are wearing protective clothing to guard against the radiation. They do most of the work at night to avoid heat stroke. Officials say the work is scheduled to finish before the middle of next month. Officials at Japan's nuclear regulator are angry at the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They say the utility was too slow to find ways to stop contaminated groundwater from seeping into the ocean. Highly radioactive substances have been detected in the plant's monitoring wells near the Pacific Ocean since May. Tokyo Electric Power Company admitted for the first time on Monday that tainted water is leaking into the ocean. TEPCO reached the conclusion after analyzing water levels in the wells and comparing them with tide levels. The Nuclear Regulation Authority says TEPCO took too long to act. The regulator plans to study ways to locate and stop the leak. Fishermen are angry at the operators of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company has admitted that contaminated underground water is seeping into the ocean. About 100 fishermen attended a private briefing session by TEPCO. Officials from the utility reportedly said the spread of contamination is limited. They also explained their plan to build walls along the coast to prevent tainted water from leaking into the ocean. Some fishermen reportedly said TEPCO officials may have deliberately concealed the information. Others say they cannot trust the firm. I've lost hope. I feel nothing but anger. The fishermen are also worried about the impact on their plans to resume 
fishing on a trial basis in September. The head of a local fisheries cooperative said the announcement is a serious blow. A TEPCO official expressed his sympathy. The issue of the contaminated water is a real concern for the fishermen. I can't apologize enough. Nitsuma also said TEPCO will take a series of measures to try to rectify the situation. A Japanese government report says the country's economy is showing signs of getting out of deflation. But it says the country needs to achieve sustainable fiscal health. The latest white paper on Japan's economy and finances says the falling trend in prices for televisions and other durable goods is starting to moderate. The document says consumer prices are falling at a slower pace. One of the factors is higher charges for electricity due to a weaker yen. The report adds that sentiment among businesses and households is improving rapidly. This is leading to higher personal spending and other positive effects on the economy. But the paper notes that to achieve a full-fledged recovery, measures including a growth plan are needed to boost corporate profit profitability. This will then lead to an increase in wages. Meanwhile, the paper says Japan's fiscal standing is in a dire situation. It calls for longer-term fiscal reform. That's for the government to convince market participants that the Bank of Japan's bold monetary easing is not aimed at shouldering government debt. The paper warns once Japan loses market confidence in its government bonds, the country's long-term interest rates will surge. That will make it harder for Japan to turn around its finances. Corporate executives are applauding the ruling coalition's victory. The leader of Japan's largest business lobby expressed a strong resolve to work fully with the government to revitalize the economy. We expect the Prime Minister to show strong leadership in pulling the nation out of deflation and to swiftly implement all means necessary to energize the economy. We business leaders will do our best to support the administration so that we can boost the economy, urge more investment, and create jobs. The Kedanden chairman urged the administration to proceed with key policy goals, including its growth strategy and bold deregulation. Yonekura also called on the government to push for fiscal reform and free trade deals, including the Trans-Pacific Partnership Framework. Set the spark, you stoke the fire, and then you act surprised When the flames go up, when the barn comes down right there before your eyes Oh, the tools that you manipulate are more powerful each day
and they will overcome you. They'll crush you and take from you all the marrow and the sinew of your ideology. But don't get upset. Don't be like that. It's your own damn fault that your flock is ready to fight. It is too late to turn around. Turn them all to salt. No, your monsters come to life. Oh. Well, rocks are thrown and voices used to tear down the innocent. People will die with ideas cast in rebar stoked cement. Oh, the words you shout has moved the herd to break free from their cage. To drop bombs on all the weaklings. Retching, melting, reeking of the forfeit, tired teachings of your ideology. But don't get upset. You can't be like that. Cause it's your damn fault. That your flock is ready to fight It is too late To turn around To turn them all to soul No Your monsters come to life Oh Don't get upset Don't be like that It's your own damn fault Yeah That your flock is ready to fight It is too late To turn Engineers from Japanese firms are showcasing their latest green technology at a fair in Beijing. They hope their products will help people in China fight air pollution. A Tokyo-based company is introducing an additive for fuel used in trucks and generators. It increases the efficiency of engines. The additive could cut the emission of minute pollutants called PM2.5 by more than half. Another Japanese company is offering an easy-to-use PM2.5 monitor. The company says the device could help schools and businesses take precautions. Japanese technology could be applied in China. It will be very helpful in taking care of our environment here. Smog blanketed Beijing and other Chinese cities earlier this year. Factories and cars emit PM2.5, which can cause asthma and bronchitis. Another day of being sick. Another day. Uh, I hope that I feel better tomorrow. I hope that I get better soon uh, uh, uh. I've collected all the songs about sickness that I have written over the course of song of the day you can see them all Sometimes I get sick, but I still write my song a day. Uh.